Hi, so in this screencast I'm going to show you uh, how to make a patch for your legend in QGIS. So patches is a new feature that was added by Niall Dawson from North Road um, uh, recently, so it's going to be available from 3.14. Um, so you're going to see I'm going to be adding a couple of scratch layers to the to the project here, um, which I'm going to just be using to draw and I'm going to Null Island or 0, 0 in the coordinate space and I'm using a, um, a coordinate reference system which is in meters um, because I want the measurements of my, my little patch, my polygon that I'm going to draw to be um, in sort of in the range of 0 to 10 meters or something like that. Um, right, so now I'm going to add a couple of scratch layers. You can do patches for points, lines, and polygons. So I'm adding three scratch layers, although I'll actually only just draw a polygon uh, patch for this demo. But the procedure is the same for um, doing lines and polygons as well. The whole idea is that you want, you're trying to draw um, a, a figure which is going to be expressed as a, um, a well-known text polygon. And then we can take that and paste that into the patch definition, uh, which we'll do towards the end of this screencast. So um, I'll just add the other two layers in here. These layers we're just going to discard when you're done. All we want to do is really just draw a uh, geometry on the screen and then copy that to our clipboard and then paste it into the patch definition. Okay, so now we've got a point, a line, and a polygon um, patch uh, scratch layer um, drawn. And um, I'm going to use the advanced digitizing tool to just constrain um, my drawing bit. First of all, I'm going to try and get to 0, 0 exactly and make a little mark there that I can snap to. Um, so I'm just locking in onto 0, 0 position. And I need to zoom out a little bit to see where the... Um, where the location is. Once I've got into 0, 0, then I can start drawing and the origin of my doodle will be um, at 0, 0 and I'm going to uh, work into the right top quadrant of this little um, four squares that you can see delineated by that by the um, snap lines there. So then I go back to my, my polygon layer and I'm again going to use advanced digitizing tools here to constrain the distances for each line segment that I create. So um, I want to work in sort of a two meter or unit of two distance for each segment. And I can just type in two there and lock that in. And you'll see the radius of the circle shows me when I'm hitting two meters. And I, every time I click, I can, um, I forgot to, to follow the line. I'm just keeping it there now. So you'll see every time I click, then um, the circle will recenter on that new point and give me a radius of two meters away from the um, from that the center of that circle. So now I'm just sketching out my um, my little doodle, and then I'm right clicking to finish the shape. Okay, so that's going to be one patch um, that I've drawn. I'm just going to use the the select tool to select that patch, and then um, I use the keyboard shortcut Control C. Command C on the Mac uh, to copy that to my clipboard. Now I'm going to the Style Manager, and you can see the new Legend Patch um, um, section in the Style Manager is the one that I made before. Now pasting for my clipboard, I just remove the WKT um, uh, prefix there, and um, I say OK, and my new patch will be created uh, in the patch collection. You can save that um, into your um, into your favorites and so on and tag it and all those kind of usual things that you can do with your style management management in QGIS. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go off and open one of my existing projects, open the print layout, and then use that use that patch to um, uh, in the legend instead of just the normal little square that QGIS would create. You don't need to save any of these, these scratch layers, so you can just discard the whole thing. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm in my project now, I'm opening up my print layout, 
you can see that I've got a legend already prepared there, but the, the legend boxes for, um, uh, for example, for my camps, it's drawn with just square boxes. So I'm going to go there now. Um, you may need to make sure that you, the auto update is turned off for the legend. And then I'm uh, editing it and choosing um, the patch that I want to use. And then uh, you'll see in the legend that the um, little symbol next to my camps has now been updated to use my new patch. And that's how you create a new patch um, in QGIS. Thanks very much to Niall Dawson for your great work.